All right, everyone, welcome back to another pickups video here. And it's been a while because, you know, I was sick with COVID and just haven't been out as much at all, you know, uh, looking for games and collecting stuff. But I did go out uh, this past week to a bunch of thrift stores and game shops and I found a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, so I got some good deals on a lot of these games, a lot of stuff that was on my list of games that I wanted to get for certain consoles and uh, stuff we can stream and stuff and bring to the channel. So it should be a lot of fun to go through and show you guys what I got. Let's get started. Uh, first thing I got was just a CD here, Matchbox 20, More Than You Think You Are, their third album. Um, I did used to own this, but when I moved, I couldn't take all my CDs with me. I got rid of some. Um, I just wanted a copy of this again. I found it for a dollar, so... Matchbox 20, and um, I got this on this really cool Mickey Mouse little like uh, kind of like a like a mesh bag um, you can put stuff in. So I'm definitely gonna make good use out of this because uh, you guys know I love anything with Mickey Mouse on it. I'm a sucker for my Disney stuff, and uh, just love the art on this. It's just so clean. This was like a dollar fifty or something. Um, all right, now next up is all the games, guys. Lots and lots of games, at least for me. Uh, so where do I even begin here? Uh, I guess we could start with the uh, Nintendo Wii. I got four Nintendo Wii games, and one here is Mini Clip Sushi Go Round. Uh, I've never heard of this game. It looks like a game, kind of a mix between like Overcooked and maybe Cooking Mama, where you run a sushi restaurant, have to get the orders right. And get enough ingredients out to be able to cook those orders to get it to your guests. So it could be really fun. It's made by or published by South Peak Games, so we know have published uh, Two Worlds and uh, Monster Madness. So there we go for the Wii. That one's complete too, by the way. Another complete Wii game I found was Cars 2 in the thrift store. Disney game there. Um, Another complete Wii game, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Never played this one. That's kind of cool to see that there. I'm not a huge Transformers guy by any means, but, you know, if I see, you know, a game out in the wild for cheap, I will get it. Good play. Uh, next one, Sonic Unleashed Complete. Uh, I've heard some interesting things about this game. I've heard it's bad. I don't know. But you can use the GameCube controller to play it, so that's kind of a big turn on to be able to use the GameCube controller. Uh, so you might stream this at some point, Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. And sticking with Nintendo, we'll get to the, uh, I got one GameCube game. Uh, I didn't see too much of the GameCube out there, but I did find one that was really cheap. That's All-Star Baseball 2002 by Acclaim Sports. I think I used to own this one. I did used to own one of the All-Star Baseball games. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Um, so it's good to kind of bring it back. This was only like... I don't even know, like two, three, about three dollars or something for the GameCube, so pretty cool. Um, I do like baseball games, so kind of nice to have that and get another GameCube game in there. All Star Baseball, with Derek Jeter on the cover. All right, next up, I guess we'll do the uh, the PS2 games, guys. Got a couple PS2 games. First one is Frogger: The Great Quest. This is one I actually really wanted. Uh, I don't know why, but it's because it's very janky and everything. Uh, for the PlayStation 2, this one's complete. Uh, it's by Konami there. Of course, made good games like Pro Evolution Soccer and Ninja Gaiden and all that. But there's Frogger the Great Quest. Uh, next one I got was Summoner 2. I didn't know there was a sequel to this. I do have the first Summoner. I have not played it yet. It's something I've been waiting to pick a time when to stream. So I don't know how well I'll do with it. Uh, but I saw a sequel in a shop and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll get that. I like the price and... It's complete there, in good shape. Summoner 2. I don't know if this one's any good. don't know if the first one's any good. But when I heard, the first one's very good. So we'll see. Uh, next thing I got is NHL 2K6. Found that in a thrift store. Complete in really good shape, actually. Don't mind all the, the jank stickers that are all over it from previous retailers. But game and booklet are in pristine condition in the box as well. NHL 2K6, I used to play these games back on the Dreamcast, um, so it was nice to get one of these back in the collection to play. Um, I believe that's that Marty Turco on the front of the cover. I think that's Marty Turco. 
the Dallas Stars. Uh, and the last one, one there's one that was on my list for sure, and that's Haven, Call of the King. Uh, I've had this game on my radar for a little bit. I know it's supposed to be like a 3D platformer. It's supposed to be a big, massive game. Uh, it could be a lot of fun. I'm hoping it is. But uh, I was very interested in this, and I found it in there in a game shop and gave it a go. It's in great, great shape, too. PS2. I don't know if this came out on, like, the GameCube or anything. Uh, maybe, but it might be a... I don't know. I really don't know. But I wanted the PS2 copy anyways. All right, next up we're going to do... Uh, I did get I did get one Sega Dreamcast game, guys. I found it like no almost nobody had Sega Dreamcast games, and the ones they had were like either one, one I already I already owned or one I didn't just see myself getting yet. But I did find one that interested me, and it was cheap enough. That it was you know it was like six or seven bucks I think. That's Jerry McGrath Supercross 2000 for the Dreamcast uh, Supercross game. I thought this would be really really cool to play, really fun. Um, you know, guys, you guys know I love my Sega Dreamcast so much. Any excuse to get more games for it and stream it more, I'm all for it. Um, there are games I have on a list for it. This was actually on my list, games I wanted, but I found it cheaper in the wild because I was going to get it off eBay, but I actually found it cheaper in the wild. So um, I don't know, maybe it went down in price or something on eBay now. I'm not sure. I haven't looked on it for a while, but uh, most of the Dreamcast games I want... I think I'm going to have to order off eBay eventually and show in like future pickups videos. But there's that. Uh, two Xbox One games. Street Power Soccer, which uh, and I'm all about soccer. Huge soccer fan, so this is really cool to have. This went down in price. I actually got this at GameStop used. Um, and it's, uh, it's uh, actually quite fun. Uh, I like the uh, trick shot mode the most, I think. So it's really cool. Street Power Soccer. And then we have the Sinking City for um, Xbox One. I've been wanting this game for a while. I do have Call of Cthulhu on Xbox One. I haven't played that one either. I might save one of these for October for Zero Ween. But this is the Day One Edition, so it comes with a map of the game, which is really cool. This was also used in GameStop. And uh, really happy to have this one for the, for the One. Still a lot of Xbox One games I want, despite, you know, Next Gen already being out. You know, now might be a good time to start getting Xbox One games cheaper. And uh, going back to Street Power Soccer, I did record an episode of this that will probably be out maybe after this video. So I did do a video I'll, I'll share with you guys of my first impressions with the game, if you want to see that. Um, next up, we will do the 360. A couple 360 games here, and this one I found in a game shop. I used to own this, but I traded it in a long time ago. I'm glad to have it again. That's Rage, the Anarchy Edition. This is the slipcover one. In really good condition. This was like five bucks. I um, thought if I ever wanted to play this again, I would probably stream it, and now I have it again. So very, very happy to have this. I remember it kind of reminded me of like Borderlands a little bit, uh, but I never beat it. So wanted to have back. Um, Next two are RPGs for the 360 that I definitely wanted and I've had on my radar for a long time now. And I'm glad to, to add them in there and play them at some point. Well, first one's Risen 2, the special edition. So this comes with a, a map and as well as the manual and stuff. So um, really cool. I found this in another thrift place. And... Um, Risen 2. I mean, I played a little bit of the first one. I actually used to own the first one. I don't anymore. I do want to get the first one. But I found the second one. I figured I'd get this now. I don't think you really need to play them in order. Because there's. I don't think they're really tied together. There's three of the Risen games. As far as I know. But I'll eventually get all three of them. The next one is... <laughs> two Worlds 2. Here it is. I have the second one now. Found this in a game shop. Complete. About five or six bucks. Had to get it. Uh, we know how much we enjoyed the first one. Uh, one of, actually, one of my favorite RPGs I've ever played, I think, was the first Two Worlds. So, uh, if you want to see that series, it's all up on my YouTube, guys. Just go to the Two Worlds playlist, and you will see all the fun I have with that game. But uh, I can imagine it's going to be more of the same here in the second one. So, glad to have that, and we'll stream that at some point down the future. Uh, a couple more games to show you guys. Um, 
Next thing is interesting. It's a something I found at a thrift store, and I don't normally see these in thrift stores. And it's an Atari 2600 game, and it's Asteroids, and it's in great shape. It was just a couple bucks, and I was like, you know what? They had, I, you know, I wanted, to, I figured I'd just get it. I don't have an Atari 2600. I have played Atari before. I didn't grow up owning an Atari or anything, you know. Um, but I, um, you know, I played it, you know, probably over a friend, a cousin's house or something, like an older cousin's house, I think, when I was a kid. And um, uh, it's really cool to have an original copy of Asteroids here. Uh, it will prompt me to want to get an Atari 2600 so I can play that and start getting more games for it. You know, it's like a classic game. So this is I think the oldest game I own now. Really cool to have that. It's only a couple bucks. They did have other Atari games, but I figured I'd just start by buying one. And I found this, and that was the one that kind of called to me the most. Good old Asteroids. And two more games, and they're both Sega Genesis. And the first one is NHL 96. I've always wanted one of these Sega Genesis NHL games I used to play. I think it was this one over a friend's house when I was a kid. Um, and it's kind of surreal to almost own it because I, you know, I didn't buy Sega Genesis till like, you know, less than like, you know, six years ago probably when I got a Genesis. And uh, to have this now is really cool to play and I'm looking forward to playing this. Like I said, I could try and stream Sega Genesis, guys, but it'll be like very guerrilla video style, very guerrilla style videography, actually. Uh, much like this off my phone, but it would be like I would just hold the camera, place it somewhere in front of the, my TV and film the TV, not like directly capture it because I have no way of doing that for Sega Genesis, but maybe we'll try a test stream with that at one point to see if it works well enough. Uh, but there's NHL 96, and another game on my Sega Genesis list was Bram Stoker's Dracula. Found that there too for a good price, so in a game shop. And uh, yeah, nice little horror game there. Um, this, of course, was covered on AVGN, so I know that it's supposed to be really bad, um, but I'm hoping to find good qualities in it. And just kind of cool to have a horror game on Sega Genesis um, for Am Stoker's Dracula, so. We'll see. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I'm going to be showing you here. Um, again, these pickup videos kind of can only happen when I actually get out there and have the money to, to spend on some stuff. I did have some spending money here, and I uh, did save some as well. I didn't spend only money, you know. I actually held back from buying a lot of other games that I wanted, some more expensive ones, and I was just, you know, trying to be smart about it. So I got a lot of these games for really cheap. Um, and it's really nice. I just enjoy getting back out there, get more games that we can play and share with you guys on the channel. Um, so thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for helping me get to over a thousand subs now, which is so grateful for. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you all very soon. Till next time, zero is the number.